Hello friends, Amechi is here again. Amechi is always here. Amechi is always talking about something that we have in common and uh, something that actually gets us going in the right direction. And uh, may I tell you that I'm very, very happy to be on with you once again this afternoon. It's indeed a bright day here in Nigeria and uh, it's always a happy thing talking about DBC. In case you don't know, <laughs> let me just tell you that DBC means work. It means work because if you want to take it serious, TBC will definitely take you serious. And taking it serious all about following all the directions given by TBC admin. And looking at it today, many people are not understanding TBC. Some will get it and at a point they say, oh, I don't understand it because I've read this, I've read that, and the thing is not adding up, and everything is just confusing. It may be confusing for folks because TBC has never been before. TBC is something very, very unique and different from all its communication. And that is the reason why people are not getting it openly enough. I read something in a book, which I, may, I want to quickly chip in. It says, it is imperative that you understand the various changes in technology and change your thought process based on renewed understanding to build uniqueness into your business, into your business technologically. Because the tech is changing so many things, and the people are still believing that, uh, oh, they need to go about jumping up and down, running here and there, dressing up, all sort of those, those things are just old-fashioned in a way. Because technically speaking, technology is taking things away. Technology is the new, is the in thing. I read a book about five years ago from uh, Robert Kiyaseko. It is, yes, at a business school or something like that. He said, a time is coming whereby you will be in Africa and you will be struggling for a job position with somebody in Asia, no longer within your vicinity. And it's already happening. What is making this possible? It is all about technology. And when we understand it, that we find out that many things that we've spoken of in the days back, in the years back, are already taking shape because we are seeing it. Because see, technology. And when you look at what we have in TBC, all the structure there is only the faint-hearted ones that are not seeing it. But if you are strongly willed and you want to pay attention to what you have, you notice that something like TBC is, is very, very great. When we use the word that we are hiring, in fact, if there's any other stronger word to use, forceful one that you get people into doing this this sort of thing, that's the way it should be. I used to think that uh, saying that you are hiring or doing all those stuff that I've been used to talk about is just a kind of wasting of time. But folks, you will never understand TBC unless you follow through with all the directives given. Or you see some people waxing stronger in the community trying to make things happen. It is not as if they are playing. They know what they are doing. And that is the reason they keep on doing because it is giving them the needed results. We are aiming to hit 1 billion members. And it's not just about hitting 1 billion members. We are talking about 1 billion members in a strong structure that will carry us and keep us capable of doing all sorts of transactions that will be happening in the blockchain 24 hours in a day, day in, day out. So I was discussing with a man the other day, and he asked me if I'm right on my senses. How can I tell him that it's just $25 that we, is needed for us to get going this? I said, the $25 is for from the, all the members, especially if a good number of us were able to come up with that fee, admin is going to do something that will benefit us maximally because it is going to be poured into making sure that we have the best blockchain in the world today. So today is, we are already in November, and we know what it is in the community of TBC. Redemption period, not just redemption, we are also cementing our positions. It's not just going about filling up names and doing all sort of things. It involves work. Folks, <laughs> I must tell you, the few days I've spent trying to convince more, more people, trying to get them into TBC by telling that they are hiring, explaining things, it's never been easy, especially when you don't have them as a group. If you are still working one on one, you continue. <laughs> it's not easy, folks, but to be sincere with you, we are on the right track, we are on the right path. And doing it needfully or the way it's supposed to be done is just it. And when you look at people complaining about TBC that it's not working or it's not doing this, they are the ones who are not working TBC. 
because if you are busy, you will not listen to those who are not getting it right. And that is the one reason why some people are just getting downhearted or getting discouraged because they choose to listen not to those who have something to tell them, but those who have negativities. And when you give your time to negative people saying that I know what I'm doing, you don't, you are not going to succeed. Stop listening to negative people in TBC. Stop listening to wandering generalities in TBC. Stop listening to those who have nothing to offer you because in TBC we have a whole lot of positive influencers who will keep us going in the right direction. So I must tell you that the few days I've spent getting to a month now trying to get people to TBC it's not really been easy. And uh, I must commend people like Ace Fletcher and the Derek and all other ones who are busy, you know, making, uh, 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 holding seminars and doing everything and still comes back to make broadcasts. And then Derek is doing one of the because he's breaking TVC down. Every bit that anybody who joins TVC today and is ready to learn it will go and go to Mbe's channel. In fact, everything about TBC is probably explained there. So, when I look at all these things, I say that we are on the right path. So, my advice to people is that stop listening to those who don't have anything to offer in TBC. Yes, people want it to happen overnight, but they are not ready to make it happen. They want it to happen now, 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 but they are not ready to make it happen now. So, as it is, TBC is a strong structure that is being built from ground up. The other day, I went to a site whereby they are building houses. They are building house. So, what I saw people there was that they are busy carrying cement, mixing cement, carrying a pan, doing every other thing just to make it work. I never see any one of them who is busy packing into the uncompleted building. But in TBC today, many people want to pack into the uncompleted building. Instead, not knowing that joining hands to make it work, that is where they will be getting some money needed for them to keep on going. You see? Go and do that job. So presently, we are working on a job in TBC, and getting that job done is where really matters. It's what really matters now. It's not just about it. Hey, I want to apply this room. I want to no. Get the structures erected first before you start looking at any other thing. People today are just getting confused, <laughs> not knowing the right thing to do. But the right thing is always there for them to do. Look at what he said here about what is keeping people off doing the right thing. He said. Comfort zone. Comfort zone, put simply, is a set of value based upon previous experiences. Be that childhood or later life, they can cause you to have false rules apply to the way you behave. They can cause you to apply false rules to the way you behave. You are, just, you are there believing that it will happen, it will happen. What will happen if you don't make it happen? Let us stand up and give TBC, the push it requires, and we are getting to where we are going. So, folks, let us uh, make friends with those who know TBC inside out. Listen to them, attend meetings, subscribe to their YouTube channels, and every other thing necessary to learn about TBC. And stop busy yourself talking, which doesn't add any value to your life. So, I believe that the few days I've spent going out to talk to people about TBC. I've learned so many things. I've seen reasons why I have to drop TBC, going out to people. I've seen reasons why I have to keep on doing TBC, going out to people. So it's a two-way thing. You're not left for you to want to choose. So stop getting confused and get it right. Stop giving people your ear, those who are busy discouraging you. Look for those who are looking for something to do. And that is just the best way for us to move in the TBC community. My name is Samechi, and uh, it's always a good thing for us to get together talking about something that will really lift us up and not something that will bring us down. Okay? Let us look for strategies. Let us look for ways to make things happen in this community. Let us go ahead in hiring people. Show them what they have, what you have. You see, we are even doing more than what some bankers are doing today type of job we are offering people is great and when people learn the basics in TBC some we actually see that yes this is the best thing they can get involved in so we are not building 1000 we are not building 100 million we are looking at a billion members and to get our billion member all hands for this be on death this is your friend Amichi bye for now thank you